All right, I uh, <laughs> I did not realize that my phone was still on. I put my phone on pause and put it in my my jacket, and I take it out. I know the phone was recording. Like hey, wow. So I guess I have to um, go view the video and make it shorter. That's why I started a new video. I did not want to go and piece piece videos together. So, like I said, I, sometimes I do it this way because it's best for me to explain what I'm seeing, what is going on, because I've studied this program. So, when you hear me do my narration in terms of what's happening, I can tell you exactly what it is that they're doing right what it is that they put into my mind to think sometimes you know though I may not be a hundred percent correct but the, the only way to expose such programs is to again analyze what they've done to you right you have your theories you test it out and that's what I do and like I said there are times to time when I, there there's some times where, you know, even though as tired as I was, I haven't really slept for for two days, all right? And uh, tonight, because of, you know, I guess what they're targeting today, the remote room monitoring in the house. You hear the car honking, as, as I said that, remote room monitoring. I should tell you how actively they're listening to me, all right? Is this a limited? This might be a limited, a limited bus, right? So, it's it's the only way that I can show people, and it's the only way that people are going to be able to look at it and develop counter programs for what's being done, right? Because again, they feel because I'm talking about this, I'm supposed to be guilty of what they're they're saying, but that's how they hide this program. That's how they hide yes, sir, you're not this. Local now, go up where by local. Oh, okay. I know sometimes the bus stops right there, so I don't know what she's talking about. But I'm gonna I'm wait, I'm wait right here, just in case. Let's see what happens. See where the bus stops. Is it stopping right there? Oh, no, I guess it's stopping up there. Yeah. All right. I'll put my video on pause again. All right, so the bus driver, I, I I press I press the bell. What bus number is this? Bus number seventy six forty four. You got FDM. Look look look. look. Ambulance. I don't know why. I press the bell. The bus stop is down there. He didn't even stop for the uh, the bus stop. So I, I had I, you know I gotta put my book bag on, and I'm like yo. You, I pressed the bell. You're not stopping on Carol. He was like uh, you should have pressed the bell. I said I did press the bell. The damn the sign was lit up. Right, and guess where he stops me off? Right, right beside this great uh, truck here. All right, so you see, like I said, they, you know, they, 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 you know, you expose them, but they always got to find some way. They always got to find some uh, Negro peon to participate in this shit. And there's too many of them. There are too many damn Negro peons, and not enough Black Africans. Okay, yeah, yeah. I said it went black. Black is another color. Because I said black. You still hear the car honk. It's the car honk, right? Again, let you know how I'm on the surveillance and how they, they're using civilians, giving civilians the technology to monitor us as TIs. Right? And again, it's not every civilian. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I guess this is where the ambulance is, park, is uh, parking. Well, I guess not. Let's see. Yep, I guess not. So, why did the ambulance do that? Why, why, why did they do that? Right. So, I pointed out the ambulance. You see, they turn right. They turn and they stop behind this green van, and behind this, 
this car that's double parked right here, right? Okay, so the, the double parked car, they, it has North Carolina license plate. Is it, yeah, it's North Carolina license plate. I can see it. It has North Carolina license plate. All right. They, they've been trying to send me subliminal message about moving to North Carolina. Okay. Because you see, as TIs, this is what they want you to do. They want to get rid of you, right? So they'll target you to where you're like, you know, leaving the state that you live in or leaving the area that you live in because of the targeting. You can't deal with it. Okay. Why? This is to prevent you from starting over, right? See, again, I've, I read something a long time ago and I could never find the website again. But it talks about people who oppress other people, particularly in American society, those in the religious uh, community when they oppress people, that they destroy their finances because they don't want them seeking, seeking revenge. All right, so this is one thing. They don't want them seeking revenge, so they destroy their finance and, and basically they run proper negative propaganda com uh, campaign in order to uh you know destroy their livelihood and it's, it's for a lot of reasons they first of all they're trying to tell you it's legitimate but it's not legitimate because if it was legitimate they wouldn't do it in secret if it was legitimate they wouldn't uh behave in a manner in which they're behaving like cowards right so understand is there's always people who will use means and ways to manipulate others because they have a proper they have a program that they created and they want to maintain and when they particularly for those religious leaders when you're awakening people to the truth because they're afraid of the truth they've been selling lies and making people believe lies and anybody they see as a threat, they will seek out to destroy. Same thing with the government, particularly, you know, when it comes to the black community. They target us from very young. They don't wait until we reach adulthood. They target us since from, you know, from we're born. And not only in America. All right, because if you look at nations of black people where we have black rulers you know they still rule on the, the same European colonizer government higher government system education system psychological system right military system All right, so the one thing you got to think about as a particularly when I am a black man experiencing this and I see the state of black people when you start to reflect and think about you know even bef way before you become aware you're in this program how you've been programmed All right and understanding that once they see you as a threat they already control the outcome right because they're, you know, they are masters of psycholo uh, psychological manipulation. So they already know the outcome. All right? They is, it is their position that they're always going to win. And we are all collateral damage. If they see you as a threat, if they can murder you, they will. All right? If they can destroy your mind, they will. If they can take away your livelihood, your finance, destroy your family, they will. And they will make it seem legitimate too. All right? So, yeah. This is one of the things that they'll do. You can send me a subliminal message about getting hit by a car, or getting assassinated. Well, motherfuckers, I'm walking down the street. All right? Do it. Because you're not sending me subliminal messages and, and 
you know, threats and thinking that, you, that you're scaring me. You're not. Okay, because I want people to see exactly who they are. And they're, they're conniving, <laughs> right? They're manipulative. And you have to understand their personality, which I sort of understand. And this is why I continue to do, oh, who says stop? No hi, motherfucker, come on and say it. Yeah, you hear that? Car honking. <laughs> you hear that shit? Yeah, I say it again. No hi, motherfuckers, come out and say it. Cowards. Not UTIs. But those that participate in targeting us. Alright? <laughs>